Hey folks, Flip here, and welcome back to Season 2 of the Hardcore World. Thank you all so very much for the support on the last episode where we built up this big old boat that we're standing on right now, fishing up the side of it, and we've got our nice little fishing docks over there ready to go, which are not really going to be used for fishing. I guess that's how things work out, but if y'all are excited for today's episode, please be sure to click that like button down below as we're fishing up a buffer fish, but check what I've got over here. We got our first enchanted book with Sharpness 3, Piercing 4. Not half bad. Today, my friends, as we are on day 96 of this hardcore Minecraft world, I figured it's finally time that we get into the nether and go do a little bit of exploring and see what we can't find inside of there. I would love to be able to find some blaze rods in a nether fortress today, but oh my gosh, I've been a very, very busy flip as I have decorated the entire starter house. I figured it was finally time to do this. I kept running through it, then just going back to the bed and being like, this place kind of sucks. So I put our sea pickles right over in there. We've got some looms right over in here, just if we need to make some banners, which I kind of want to get to later. Some barrels for storage, cartography table, and the works over in there. We've got this nice little point over there with just a bunch of little storagey stuff. We got some more storagey stuff inside of here. Small kitchenette area right over there. And then I decided to expand our furnaces. So we now have five furnaces able to cook things in here. And finally, the bedroom's got a little bit of a chain action. I want a soul fire torch right on top of that to be a bit of a candle. We've got our bed and we've got some nice bushes up there too. Because I figured, you know, why not have greenery in the ceiling? Yeah, it just works, okay? But anyways, as mentioned, I want to dive down into the nether and see what we can find. And we are short obsidian because I am not going to leave the corners off of that nether portal. What I want to do first and foremost, I was like, it was going to add those guys together. But I think what we can also do is enchant probably one of these pieces of gear we have on us. All of our lapis is over in the tower, though. We are looking at a unbreaking three or a protection four. So uh, we're going with the protection four because it also comes with unbreaking three. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, we're so strong now. Now, in order to combine these pickaxes, we actually need to craft an anvil because I have not made one of those guys quite yet. So we're going to leave him inside of there and put this iron back. Now, I was thinking a kind of fun spot to have the anvil is turning this over here into some sort of like a smithing area or tool working area for things like horseshoes and everything over there. So I figured we could just throw the anvil in the corner for now. How many levels is that going to take? 19 to do it that way or 13 to go this way. So we're going to do that. Of course, we have to rename it. So it's going to be 14 levels. First, what I wanted to do was actually put down a little bit of a notice board right over here. I think up on this hill could be pretty perfect for ourselves, so we can do that. And I want to give ourselves a three wide gap there in the middle. We're just going to be using some stripped dark oak logs on the side so we can get some space to be able to actually store everything on side of here. And then on the bottom, let's just do a little bit of a stair right there. And I've got this trap door ready to go. That's the wrong place. There we go. With a little bit of gap under it, that's going to be perfect. I'm going to throw the extra signs in there. And I've got a few goals for us to be writing down here. Very big first one, survive the nether. Sounds like something we can achieve today. Small goals, everybody. Small goals, just work yourselves forward. And there we go. I feel like these are some great goals for us. Some are easily achievable. Some are more difficult than not, but it's okay. So we got netherite armor up here. We got villager breeder on Mooshland. I've decided that's kind of what I'm calling the mushroom island. It's just Mooshland. I don't know why, but that's how it's going. Auto farms. I would love to be able to get some auto farms rocking here soon to start pick up the pace of the world that we have going on. I want to finish the farmland at the village, like the carrot field. I'm going to get that done here in a moment. Get all these guys going around. I think I kind of want to gather them all up and just be able to see how much stuff we can get off them and then replant them all down. I want to build a castle. I've been really wanting to build a castle recently, so that's going to be coming in the series in the near future. I want to build a city over on Mooshland, and I want to uh, survive. Let's do that. Sounds like a good one. I think it's about time. We've got enough diamonds for it. This iron hoe is almost about to break. We're bringing out the diamond hoe, everybody. We are not messing around on the farming scene any longer. It's diamond hoe time in the morning. Before we reveal the blue eyes white dragon of our hoe over here, we should probably finish off the iron one. Well, that didn't last too long. Okay, moving on. The only roughly half of the carrot field planted. We got quite a few stacks of carrots here. That is pretty awesome. Planted everything back down and we've still got four and a half stacks of the carrots. Oh, that's so good. Now to do the wheat field and the potatoes. All right, well, we're gonna have a lot of stuff. Y'all think these flip episodes always start out with just harvesting this wheat field. Nah, we're going big today, everybody. We're going big today. And before y'all say it, I know I could use my fortune diamond pickaxe, but I don't want to waste the durability on that guy to get all this stuff. We'll do that later. Wheat field gathered and replanted minus that little section over there because I couldn't be bothered. And look how much stuff we have. Oh, we have so much bread. Let me know in the comments below how many poisonous 
potatoes. Do you think I'm gonna get off harvesting that entire potato field? It's really not surprising looking at uh, how the other hardcore world is progressing right now compared to this one, as I mentioned in the last episode, being the... I'm starting to realize why we're on day 100 inside of this Minecraft world almost, and we haven't even went to the nether. It's because I'm spending a half hour replanting a field of potatoes. <laughs> But the number you all have been waiting for is 11. 11 poisonous potatoes. But wait, there's more. There's so many potatoes. That was from harvesting the field once. I That was an empty chest before. See, we even have five more poisonous ones and 42 potatoes in there. We've got a lot of potatoes, everybody. The hobbits would be happy with me as we will not have to worry about starving ever again inside of this world. We're just gonna eat potatoes forever channeling my inner martian over here as it's going to be nighttime now my friends i was starting to think about where we could put the nether portal we have the mine entrance right here i kind of want to make the nether portal into a bit of a cave i feel like that could work out the best because i like hiding them away so almost maybe right off in that area we could have a little bit of a cave going down i'm thinking that could be pretty good i'm gonna head down into the mines right now though gather a little bit more obsidian for ourselves and just get a few blocks that we can start working with for the terraforming of a cave today Found 24 obsidian for ourselves and 8 bonus iron underneath the obsidian, so you know we're headed back home for now. Creeper Rock never seems to fail. There's always one of these guys in the vicinity when we exit the mines. Oh boy. And some free bones and arrows on the bridge. Nice! Now I'm thinking the best way to do this for now is to, one, get rid of second creeper over here. And there's so many of them. Okay, uh, I gotta do a little bit of a safety clearing first before we get to building. No, 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 no! Ah, oh, the sunflower. The sunflower almost caused a huge problem for us. You can go back right there, buddy. All right, dealt with. We're good. Okay, super sweet. So we've got this little water pond right there, which I don't really want to mess up. I kind of want to turn that into something here a little bit later. But what we also have is the second one right over here. I know, very unique. We have one and two. But what I was thinking is we have this kind of natural line coming throughout here where it dips down a bit. And I was thinking we could start to expand this section out here take it down a few blocks and almost have the nether portal underneath our enchanting tower i thought that could be kind of a fun way of bringing the magic vibe into the nether portal that we have there together so i'm gonna get a lot of digging done here for a little while folks for the first time in this here hardcore series let's go ahead and kick this off in a good old-fashioned time lapse mode Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That took a long time to move that obsidian portal up a few blocks. Really kind of upset that I misplaced that one there, but we've got our stuff down here and we've got this nice little pit. What I'm actually wanting to expand a bit more. I've come up with a very cool idea here is that I wanna fill the base area with water and then you can see all these campfires in my inventory is I wanted to take these as a little bit of a bridge that's gonna be going across the water here for ourselves. From there, I wanted to try and turn everything that we have into a bit of an underground grotto type feeling because I think it could be really, really cool down here. And I do have a few stairs as well of the sprucey kind so we can use that to actually get up into the portal. Thankfully, we can extinguish all of these campfires so we don't have to worry about burning our toes every time we run across them, but it could be kind of fun running through all that smoke. Mm hmm great time. I've got one layer of the water in down there now, and I'm thinking that's not going to be enough. So I think if we actually bring ourselves up to having too deep on the water, that could really help this area out. Since we're in a bit more of an interesting cave shape in here and there's a lot of mob spawnable areas, if we start removing these torches, I want to make sure we can make as much of it mob safe as we possibly can, because otherwise... Uh, uh, we could be in for an interesting trip when we get out of the deadly nether, which is not something that I really want to deal with. But to help with that, I've got a bunch of chains and I've got even more lanterns for ourselves. So I figured we could hang some of these guys down here and start adding in some extra hanging lights of sorts all over the place because I think it could be very cool to help create a very awesome vibe down here. My goal is going to be to remove every single torch that we have in this area. I'm really hoping we can accomplish that. I would like to hide a little bit of the obsidian that we're using for the actual portal frame so it looks like we just have the portal itself back here but I'm also okay with showing some of it so I don't want it to feel like it's just a random purple rectangle on a wall. I like actually showcasing some of the obsidian in here so I'm thinking we could do something about like this where we can disrupt the shape of it just a touch and we actually i believe from the front entrance all the way back here we'll be able to get a little tiny bit of the purple portal right in that point and then we can fill in the rest of the stuff to make it look like it's kind of crumbling around it 
a good while later now my friends and we've got a fully decorated cave here in front of us and i love it oh my gosh i've got all the leaves and everything on the sides to help spawn proof it hey, and then we got a few buttons down there for the spots that we couldn't really throw any leaves in got some reaching up around the top and ooh, there is the nether portal i'm gonna come back in here once i can get a little bit more stone but i did run out of the stuff i'm kind of working on building up the leaves up here a bit further too so we can make it a bit safer for ourselves as we're moving around but i'm really a big fan of it i think it's turned out really well let me know what you think down in the comments below i think the last thing we gotta do before we dive into the nether though is i need a bow and some arrows because it can be rather dangerous in there and having that type of stuff is pretty good and uh let's get some gold armor while we're at it too I've got food ready to go. We've got a golden apple ready to go. Flint and steel in case we need it to get back out. And last thing, I'm thinking we bring a few stacks of cobblestone for some pillaring blocks just in case uh, we need it, you know, as we do. The sun is setting and it is the perfect time to dive into the nether and see what we get down here. Is this spawnable? I can't tell. No, that's an eight. Okay, that's a seven though. Ooh, ooh, issue, issue, problem, problem. Escaping the nether to come out here to find a creeper right there. Nah, we're not gonna have that. Here it is, time to dive into the nether. As long as we don't get a crimson forest, I will be happy with whatever the result is. Crouching as we go through to the nether for the first time. Soul sand, I see lots of soul sand. Okay, that's good. That's a lot of bones around us and lots of skeletons. Okay, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. Let's turn the fog off here so we can actually see a good distance. And ooh, there's a giant basalt delta over there. That is really, really cool looking. Holy cow, this is a really nice little nether spawn. It's a good little cave over here for ourselves. Let's get rid of these skeletons, though. We've got some gas flying upwards over there, so that's not the best thing in the world, but we've got some skeletons, and I really want to grab these bone blocks. Crimson Forest over there. I think our best bet is to climb up here a little ways, and maybe we can spot some fortress action or something like that around us. Not too confident on anything quite yet, though. Oh my gosh, we have a bastion right here though. Hoo hoo hoo, that's kind of big, that's kind of big. Ooh, it's a really big bastion. Um, Gold, 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 let's get our gold on. Will we be blessed on this day with pig step? We have a second bastion right over there as well. We've got this guy down here. I wanna make sure that we are very smart about how we tackle this bastion, because I don't wanna die to a brute. Those things, regardless of your gear, are very hard to fight. Those were the days. We're in the bastion now, everybody. We are in the bastion. I don't see any gas or anything over here, so I think we can actually just take ourselves in the middle, break this pillar behind us, and maybe all of the brutes will come out, and we can try and hit them from here. I don't know if this angers the other piggies, so I'm gonna give ourselves a little bit of a box with a defensive shield for sure. <laughs> I guess we have to try this somehow, first and foremost. We've got gold armor on, which is great. And I need to get rid of these guys over there, the big dark shirts. First shot is a go. And it angered all the pigs. And there goes one of the pigs. These things have so much health. Holy cow, we need a better bow than this. There's a gold axe for us though, woohoo. Two down. And there's another one right down there. Okay, how can I get a little bit closer to these guys without getting knocked off? That's a little bit of a death squad right down there, isn't it? Yeah, that's super fun. Mm-hmm. We're down to just 14 arrows left, which is not the best. So we've got to be very careful as we're moving around here. Why am I raiding a bastion? I don't know. First nether adventure. Let's go to the bastion. Hey, buddy, are we friends now? Oh, I think we're friends now. Oh, that's great. We just got to be careful of the brutes. I do see a loot chest all the way over there, which is fantastic. I really should have brought a hopper with me, but I did not expect to find a bastion today. But you can use those to drain the chest without the guys attacking you, which is great. And there's some blocks of gold. Okay, well, there's a way to get down right in here. There's so much gold down there. Holy cow, and there's another brute. Okay, we've got to figure out a way to take him out for sure. The entire upper layer has been scouted at this point, but I'm pretty sure there's not really any mobs over here. They're all down below, because they all kind of fell down. And now I'm just like, how do I get down without really just insta-dying? That's, that's the question. Just need to get rid of those last two brutes down there, and I feel a lot more safe walking around here. We can at least try and find some of the loot, like there's some right over there in that corner. I think I'm gonna try and anger these brutes again. I got 14 arrows on me. Let's see if we can't get them at least to fall into the water. Let's see what we can do, or the lava. Quite opposite of water. You guys wanna fall in there? Oh, no, you're all just wanting to stand on. Ooh, he kind of got lit on fire. Now he's in the lava. Oh, good shot. Oh, perfect aim, perfect aim. See if we can knock this guy a little forwards. Nope, I killed the one behind him. I'm sorry. 
Four arrows left, and I think I got them both, so that's good. Now I just gotta wait for these guys to no longer hate me also. Oh, something's shooting, something's shooting. Oh, don't attack me. I, I saw some hoglins that appeared in here, so I'm kind of nervous that now we're in the crimson forest. Are we friends now? It looks like we're friends again. Hi. Oh, you look so kind. Let me come down here. Now to find if this long, long period of stress was worth it. Are we able to find any loot inside of this little chest right over here? Now, I believe how we can make this work is if we block off everything and they don't have a line of sight to see the chest, they can't get mad at me for looting the chest, right? And that had a lot of good stuff. Ooh, that had a netherite scrap in it. Holy cow, wait, that is amazing. And a full block of gold. Are we friends? Are we friends, everybody? Let's go check in with our buddy over here, see if we're still friends or not. Friends? Friends! Friends! Over at chest number two now, and I'm gonna try doing the exact same thing here. Ooh, we've got ancient debris! Holy cow, look at that right there! We've got our first ancient debris, and we got a netherite scrap. We're halfway to our first piece of netherite armor. That's insane. Hey, little guy, how you doing? Can I come down there? Just slowly working our way down the bastion. Yeah, you can take that little blackstone block and run away. Oh, yeah, you can. Good boy. Oh, oh, I hate that. I hate that a lot. Just gonna get rid of the hoglin for them. They just got a little infestation in the bastion here. We are down in the depths now, and I have no idea how I can get out of here, but that's fine. We're in the depths. We're doing it. We're doing the bastion thing today. It's great. I'm having a fantastic time. I'm not scared. I'm not talking a lot because I'm scared. I'm just talking a lot because I'm talking a lot. Yeah, that's fine. That's it. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm on a secret spy mission over here trying to steal all the, the goodies out of a bastion. <laughs> and dang, I'm a very, very bad spy. But we got a lot more goodies in here, so that's super cool. We even got a Soul Speed 1 book. Not the best in the world. Oh, there's the brute. There's the brute. There's the brute. Hi, brute. How you doing? I blocked this off on that side, so we're good. Nobody can get in here from that side. And everybody hates me. As long as the babies don't come for us, we'll be okay. Everybody hates me now. Oh, this is not fun. The only bummer part that we have right now is that we need to be able to get to that middle chest. Getting to the middle chest is going to prove to be rather difficult since we have to go into the middle of the lava and then box it in while fighting off magma cubes the entire time and I just don't really know how it's going to work. Who's back here? Hello? Oh, you're just chilling. Hi. Our best bet appears to be entering from right here. So that's about all we can manage. I'm going to kill all these big guys that I can for now just because those things... I don't want to be knocked off into the lava. That is just instant death. Because these things will be constantly hitting us around in there. I know the magma spawner is going to keep spawning them, so it's really not the best solution, but it's about all I've got right now for us. Slowly working our way out, building the most randomized tunnel that I possibly can. We're just going to be building a little bit of a tube to get all the way out there. We're almost into the middle now, everybody. We're oh, no, 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 no. Okay. I knew I shouldn't have said anything yet. It was getting too easy. We've made it to the middle. All of the blocks of gold we could ever need are right here in front of our very faces, but I know to not take those. Gonna put a little bit of blocker behind there in case the piglins come from that way, but we've gotta finish blocking it everything around here, and then, and then we get our riches. All of this work, my friends. All of this work to see whatever is inside this chest right in front of me. So I think we can take it now. I think we can do it. Okay, let's see. We got, oh, did we get it? Did we get it? Did we get it? Oh, did we? Oh, we got an enchanted golden apple. Oh my gosh. That's insane. We also got Frostwalker 2 diamond boots, which are pretty legit. Okay, okay, okay. I like that. We also got a diamond helmet. Nope, that was in my inventory already. We got a second diamond helmet. Wow. I'm gonna see if I can't pinch a few of these gold blocks. I might as well. I am here. Make the piggies really upset with us for a second. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Oh, that was a terrible idea. Oh, I'm sweating, I'm sweaty. But I did get four blocks of gold out of that. Whew, worth it, worth it, worth the terror. Outside of the bastion now, I'm just gonna pillar all the way up so we can figure out what side we're coming out on because I don't remember where we really came in at. And back home into the overworld, into our nice, cave. It really doesn't fit the hellish landscape on the other side being the nether, but I'll take it. It looks very nice. We've got one thing that we've got to do right away. Besides turn this into a banner pattern. No, I'll hold off on that for a while. I'll hold off on it. I just don't know when I'm going to use an enchanted golden apple. Like I get that they can get you out of pretty much anything, but when am I realistically going to have that on me when I won't just use a regular golden apple? Somebody let me know in the comments below.
But now, obviously, the most important thing we got out of the nether was this here soul sand, because we can make our elevator so much better, because we can jump all the way down here, come on over to the other side, spruce fence gates, spruce fence gates, right like that, and then we can walk in here, and with this very axe, we can take down the ladder. There we go, the falling water is now in, and then we just take the kelp and go right back up. So close to the top, so close to the top, and we made it perfect. Look at that, love it. Okay, so now what we do is we fall all the way right back down here, and I believe if I break this kelp at the bottom, that'll cause a bunch of bubbles to start appearing inside of here. They might not be doing it because of the falling water animation. Nope, there was one right there, and then it'll send us all the way to the top. Oh, this is gonna be great. My poor little space bar is gonna be so happy because of that. Moving on from fixing up the mine shaft over there, I've got two things left that I would like to do inside of this world. One being that I want to plant a little tiny wheat field right up in this area leading up to where we have the tower and kind of along this corner just to help fill it in finally. And I'm thinking we got to get sunflowers or something down here. I've even started. I know this one's a little crazy. Look at my beetroot field in all of its glory. It's all the seeds that I had. And then number two is going to be, I want to get some villagers over to the Mushroom Island or Mooshland, Mooshlandia. I don't really know. We need a better name for it. Let me know in the comments down below. <laughs> I've realized that if we want to start picking up the pace of this world, we really got to start getting some villager things rocking. And if we can get those over there and start getting some automatic production on emeralds and things like that before we even start doing the trading halls, it's going to really, really help us out with at least being able to fly through getting some trading halls and things like that set up. So I want to start working on that project as soon as we can. One, because I'm very excited to get into building a city and terraforming the island. One, farmland looks absolutely amazing when we have it in bulk like this and all the different types of fields. And two, it's mob proof. So this is going to be absolutely awesome to have. And there we go. This entire place is now in. And no, oh, it's going to look so good after all this stuff grows up. Got to add the berries along the edge, though, to make our pathways a little bit easier to walk around on in the nighttime. I got to start getting some lanterns and torches along these two. That's going to look really good. But for now... I've got two spruce boats, I've got a bunch of spruce planks now, and we can go put these guys in a box over in the city. Another very important thing about getting these guys set up is uh, my tools are really starting to break pretty quickly here. You are a nitwit, right? Yeah, I don't really want you. Getting mending sooner or later would be absolutely awesome to have because I don't want to have to deal with constantly getting new tools. Like this pickaxe right here is amazing. We don't want to lose the flippy picky. Come with me to your new home, my friend, to your new home. He does seem a little sad, and he hasn't really looked at me quite yet when we're over halfway through our journey. So I, I hope he's okay on the new land. He's just going to live in a nice little box for now, but eventually it's going to be glorious. Do you see those glorious mushrooms here in front of us, my buddy? That is our new home. Peace and prosperity with no creepers. Just kidding, that is the small island. This land over here is the land of peace and prosperity and no creepers and especially no zombies for you, my friend. It's gonna be great, you're gonna love it. As rough as this is for him, I think we're just gonna leave him in a little box right there, go get the other guy. And then from there, I don't really know how I wanna set up this island quite yet. I need to get a bunch of scaffolding or something and go way high into the sky and get an aerial view of this spot because that will be able to help me out a bunch with planning it. Villager number two is in tow, and we're about to park him in here with his new best friend for life. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. They're going to love each other. Oh, God. Please don't kill yourselves. Uh, I'm just going to do a little box right there. That, that'll keep you guys safe, right? Yep. I'll come back for you in like a week. Now, for this here Mushroom Island, I've got a lot of great ideas in mind. I want to do a complete terrain revamp of probably turning it all into grass eventually and just terraforming the heck out of this place and adding some higher cliffs and thinking like Cliffs of Dober style on one side or something so we can have a lot of variety into this place, building a lot of cool structures, castle, city, farmland, all that cool stuff. We've got a lot of great space out here, but I want to come all the way up here into the sky is I wanted to give you all a view of what this island looks like from way up here because I want you to help me out down in the comments below before we even start building this place, before I even get started. What do you think we should be including on this island? How should we shape it? What do we got going on over here? We are currently facing, uh, we're facing south right now. So the south end has the ponds on it. The north end is kind of a hilly landscape with the sunken ship right now. So to give you all some perspective on that, let me know down in the comments below what type of stuff you want to see on this on this island thing moving forwards we also have that second island wherever the heck that thing went off to i think it's right over there 
But we could also use that for something too, so let me know. We've gotta somehow build this to work with villagers too. But now as we are almost safely back down on the ground, my friends, that is gonna have to do it for today's episode. As the sun is setting, on day 108 holy cow we have survived a long time in this world so far that's almost 20 hours of survival gameplay action hardcore action here holy cow we've been doing the work my friends thank you all so very much for the support so far on this series please be sure to click that like button down below if you have not already my friends and with that i will catch you on the flip side